What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick one, I'll be showing you how you can install and use Stable Diffusion Web UI on Linux. In this video, I'll be using Arch Linux, but of course, the steps should be practically the same for all different kinds of Linux distros. First of all, you'll need Python 3 installed. So fire up a console, terminal, or whatever you're using, and in here, run Python hyphen capital V, where you should see a response like this. If you don't, you'll need to run Pacman, apt-get, whatever package manager you have on your system to download and install Python 3.10, 3.11, somewhere around there. Most stable diffusion packages are mainly happy with Python 3.10, so 3.11 may be a bit too far ahead, but if you're in 3.11, it should mostly be fine with most stable diffusion distributions. Then you should also have your graphics card drivers installed if you have a dedicated GPU. On AMD and Intel, this should be super simple. However, on Nvidia, especially if you're on something like Arch, you'll need to run NVIDIA hyphen SMI to see if you get a response like this. You should see your graphics cards listed as well as the driver that you're using at the very top. I'm using 550 blah blah blah, which means that I'm correctly using the proprietary NVIDIA drivers. The open source NVIDIA drivers may work with this, etc. But it's a good idea to try and make sure you have the best NVIDIA drivers you could have installed on your current system, currently installed, to get the best performance out of Stable Diffusion. Anyways, with all of that out of the way, let's get to setting up and using Stable Diffusion Web UI. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to install and use Stable Diffusion Forge, which is definitely one of the fastest, if not the fastest, Stable Diffusion Automatic 11.11 forks, giving you a ton of extra performance. Of course, you could use the normal standard Automatic 11 Stable Diffusion Web UI, FLADS, SD Next, etc. But I've just had the best results with Web UI Forge, so that's what I'll be showing you how to install here. However, the steps for most of them are the same. It's mostly cloning a GitHub repo and running the webuiuser.sh or webuish file. That's really it. Automatic 11, webui is webui.sh. This forge is webuish. And finally, Vlad's SD next, scrolling down. This is also webuish. Anyways, to begin, what you need to do is pick your web UI of choice. I'll be using Forge here. Simply head across to the GitHub page. You'll find all of these linked down below. Click the code button here, choose HTTPS and copy this link. Once you've done this, open up a terminal and you'll be navigating to the folder where you want to install this. For most people, you'll be changing directory to tilde slash which is your user directory, next to your documents, desktop, etc. Or if you'd like to install it for all users, another place to install this is slash opt. In here, you'll find different programs you downloaded, built, and installed. I'll be using the latter, so slash opt. And in here, I'll be installing the Stable Diffusion Web UI. Simply run git clone space followed by the link and hit enter. Although in the opt folder, we'll need to run with sudo. There we go. It'll download and then set up. Then we should now see a brand new Stable Diffusion Web UI folder, whether it's SDNX, Forge, or just the usual Web UI. What we'll need to do now is take ownership of this folder so we can use it on our account without the need to use sudo. So for this, we'll run sudo chown hyphen capital R, followed by your username, colon, your username once more. If you don't know your username, simply just use dollar sign user to automatically fill it in, followed by the folder, which is slash opt slash stable diffusion, blah, blah, blah. You can hit tab to autocomplete. When you do this, you should now be able to change into the stable diffusion folder. And inside of here, you'll find webui.sh. We'll simply run it by using dot slash webui.sh and hit enter. This should fire up stable diffusion web UI, set up the Python environment, install all of the required packages, etc. If for some reason you can't run this file, simply make sure you're in the correct folder where web UI SH is and run chmod plus x followed by the webui.sh file in order to make it executable. That's it. Once you've done this and fire it up, it'll download CUDA as well as everything that's required for it to work properly. Simply now, kick back and wait. Now, the great thing about using Linux instead of Windows is that it installs Triton, Xformers, etc. And some of these things just don't work at all, if not very well on Windows. So they're pretty much locked to Linux. You could, of course, maybe get around it by using the Windows subsystem for Linux, but you'll pretty much always get better performance using raw Linux over Windows. And if you're interested in seeing a performance comparison, do let me know in the comments down below. 
But either way, if you haven't heard about Stable Diffusion Web UI Forge, you're probably going to get a huge boost in performance anyway. So yeah, there's that. And there we go. Once the installation's mainly downloaded most of the things, it'll start downloading a couple of models to work with. In most cases, oftentimes you'll be left with the normal Stable Diffusion 1.5, maybe SDXL, but on Forge, it downloads Realistic Vision and I think SDXL and maybe 1.5 as well. Anyways, we'll find out when it's done. And finally, when it's done setting up, it'll open up a new browser and in here, you can immediately start generating images, etc. Simply choose a checkpoint, leave everything else as default, and let's say a pretty woman standing in a neon cyberpunk street, HD 4K, I don't know, whatever else works, master piece, etc. And in the negatives, we'll be adding a few prompts that we'll want to avoid on YouTube specifically. We'll click generate and just like that, an image should simply just appear. That's it. It worked practically perfectly. We can mess around with the width and height, especially on Stable Diffusion Web UI Forge. You can crank this up really high and use super high quality models, etc. And it's actually surprisingly performant. But anyways, you're now up and running with Stable Diffusion Web UI on an awesome fork that's compatible with most of, if not all of the normal Stable Diffusion Web UI extensions, etc. To close it, simply close your browser and in your terminal, hit Control-C to close the program and there we go, it's no longer running. Simply head back to Opt Stable Diffusion Web UI Forge and run webui.sh whenever you want this program to work. Also, while you're running it, if you'd like to monitor the usage of your CPU and RAM, I'd recommend using either HTOP or BTOP, preferably, so you can see your CPU, RAM usage, etc. Then to monitor your graphics card, you can either use NVIDIA SMI-L to get it to update every few seconds, or you can use something like NVTOP, which I don't have installed, SYU, NVTOP, pseudo that is, and installing NVTOP, we should now be able to just run NVTOP and learn about our system. So we'll hit OK, and there we go. We can see a nice graph of GPU usage, memory, etc. for both of our GPUs, if you have an Intel one or an integrated one, etc. as well as a couple of different tasks, how much each is using at the very bottom. It provides a really nice breakdown with a ton of information, more than just NVIDIA SMI. But anyways, hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.